<laughs> okay, limiting the amount of time that we spend glued to our electronic devices can be really hard for adults, and it's especially tough for kids who often use the screens for school, fun, and everything else in between. But as consumer reporter Susan Hogan explains, the same companies that create these addictive devices are offering new ways to limit screen, screen time, giving parents some much-needed control. With two young kids, Whitson Gordon knows he's in for years of keeping an eye on them while they're online. But for now... My biggest fear is just them seeing something that's too scary or something that they weren't really ready to learn. Trying to keep your kids safe online could feel like a full-time job. Aside from reminding them not to share personal information or photos, you've got to worry about them talking to strangers, stumbling upon inappropriate content, or just spending too much time staring at a screen. There are a lot of free options you can use to keep an eye on your kids online. Melanie Penola is a tech writer at Consumer Report. She says tech companies are improving features that some parents might want to try. Take Microsoft Family Safety. It's built into Windows and also available as an app for Xbox, Android, and iOS. Apple's parental controls for iOS and Mac are located in screen time settings. Both allow you to limit screen time and set content restrictions on your kids' devices. There's also the Google Family Link app, which is available for Android and iOS. With Google Family Link and the Google account you set up for your kids, you can do anything from monitor their app usage to seeing where they are on a map. The tools from Microsoft, Apple, and Google also allow you to put restrictions on the apps your kids have access to. And YouTube allows you to set up a supervised experience for kids under 13. That determines the types of videos your kids can watch. A safer option for younger audiences, like Winston Sons, is YouTube Kids. He mostly watches science videos on YouTube. That's how he spends most of his time on his iPad. Time that Whitson now has a bit more control over. Now, Consumer Report says it's also so important for parents to talk to their kids about the dangers of being online and encourage them to come to you with anything disturbing that they come across, like whether it's bullying in a video game chat or inappropriate content. I'm Susan Hogan, News 4.